Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm going to do a quick love read for you. This is for the collective. Whatever pops out, we will uh, see what happens. I'm not sure what the title of this is going to be, but it's a love read. Um, we're getting messages of love oracle cards from All Things Intuitive as well as Hidden Truth oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. So this is just a love read for the collective, so we'll see what is coming out, all right? Let's see. Oh, so it looks like you have a decision to make in love. Yeah, oh, for sure. Um, ooh, look at that. The lovers came out on the bottom. So this is like usually a choice in love, usually between two people. Could be like a choice in like working too much and, and enjoying a relationship. As the card flies out, it could be uh, lots of lots of different um I can't. I can't talk today. It could be different choices, right? Between work and love, between two people in love, between, you know, committing and not committing. It's a choice in, in terms of love. So I feel like that is something you are struggling with, some kind of choice. You're looking like you're quite indecisive in this situation. You're feeling like you're blindfolded. You're not really sure what to do in this love situation. I feel like you're really looking for something that's balanced. You want something that's an equal give and take. You want something that's going to um, give you what you get, what you put into it, right? Like you want something kind of even and balanced. I feel like I'm not sure, you know, this is interesting. I'm not sure if you were ending a situation. The justice card to me um, often reflects uh, like a divorce situation. So I'm not sure if you're deciding on whether or not you want to end a, end a marriage. Um, but I feel like regardless if it's a marriage, I feel like you are ending a situation in which you don't feel is balanced. You're seeking this balance, but I feel like you are really contemplating about a situation in which you don't feel balanced and you're trying to get your balance. You want something that is providing this equal give and take. Um, so either you're divorcing somebody or you are leaving a, a relationship or you're not picking that person. I feel like you're going to be moving on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords card here. I feel like you're moving away from this uneven, unbalanced situation to your um, your wish fulfillment. So I definitely see you um, struggling to make a choice, but I feel like um, you are really trying to get balance in your situation. You're not wanting to take these breadcrumbs. I feel like you see these breadcrumbs, like literal breadcrumbs in this picture. I feel like you've been be, you have been, someone has been breadcrumbing you. So I feel like you're, you're kind of at your wit's end um, and you're, you're making that choice. But let's see what else is coming toward you. It says your wish fulfillment. You're, you're moving on to calmer waters to your wish fulfillment, which is awesome. So give me some information on this person watching's wish fulfillment. What do they need to know about this wish fulfillment? I feel like you probably already know this person because I feel like you're making that choice to, to leave a situation, maybe picking between two people. But I guess we'll see. We have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, nice, the Devil card, the Three of Swords, oh, I was excited about the Devil card until I saw the Three of Swords, and then the Four of Cups. So I feel like the person that you're moving on to um, or that's coming, your wish fulfillment person, I feel like it's somebody you feel like you've missed an opportunity with, guys. I feel like it's a passionate situation with this Knight of Wands. That's the bottom of the deck, so I'm not pulling that out. But I feel like this is a, a situation in which you feel as if you had missed an opportunity. So you know this person, I think. I feel like this is doesn't have to necessarily be somebody you dated, but it definitely is someone from your past that you feel like, oh, I really should have checked that out. I feel like um, that situation could have been someone that you know. It could have been something that you were heartbroken about, missing that opportunity. Um, and I think this is a, a person you've kind of felt like you're almost um, bounded to in terms of um, getting them off your mind. I feel like you think about this person a lot. I feel like almost to the point of obsession, right? Because the devil card to me is... It could, it can be like drinking, right? It can be um, like excessive behaviors like gambling, alcoholism, drug addictions. It can be codependent relationships. It can be, um, I feel like it's usually like over obsessive thinking or obsessive thinking, 
when it's paired with like a, a, um, a wand or like a love card, I feel like it can be like lots of intense chemistry and passion. But in this, I feel like this is kind of like a thought process or an inability to move past somebody. So I feel like whoever this person is coming back, is a, it's a missed opportunity that's caused you some loss and sadness and caused you a lot of overthinking, like uh, obsessive thinking, like I'm not moving past this situation. But the good thing in that row about the person um, that your wish fulfillment is this will be a victorious situation. And the Eight of Pentacles to me, yes, is absolutely hard work. Someone who is willing to put the hard work in to a relationship and a situation to build, to grow, to, to make things better. But it's also a soulmate energy to me and a true love energy. You know, as we all know, love is not magic, right? Like true love and relationships take work, hard work. Um, you know, you talk to people who have been married for 50 years and it's been work. The whole time, right? Lots of play, but lots of work, lots of compromise, lots of understanding. So this is a victorious situation with a soulmate to me. So I feel like, um, and it's someone you had a missed opportunity with in the past. Um, I feel like it's going to work. You're going to be victorious, right? Love conquers all. And I feel like it's got a lot of passion between the two of you. Um, let me get more information about the situation. We got the tower. Oops. This card, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere, guys, and kind of like smack you on the ass. <laughs> Pardon my mouth. Um, I feel like it's going to like knock you out, like knock your socks off. And you're going to be like, what? What just happened? And um, we have the Tower, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Strength card. Three major arcana. Holy deck. Okay, we're going to just stop right there. The Ten of Pentacles. All these cards just flew out. The Judgment, wow. The Moon card, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Yes, I, so I feel like this situation... Okay, these cards all just flew out, so just give me a second. Because I really do feel like this situation is going to be highly, highly, highly unexpected. It's going to rock your world, right? It's going to be like... Wait, what? Wait what? Who am I getting this message from? Who is calling me? What is happening? Um, I feel like with the wheel of fortune, it, things are shifting. Things are moving. I feel like things happen in divine timing. I think um, your past situation with this person as a missed opportunity is no longer. It's going to be an opportunity. I do think this is going to be one that has that's going to require strength for you. Um, you could require courage to move forward in this situation. And maybe in the past, fear kind of kept you from making this choice to move forward with this person. But it, we do have a 10 of pentacles energy here. This is true love. This is a long-term commitment, marriage, st financial stability, emotional stability. This is the dog, the house, the, the husband, wife, the kids. This is the blended families sorry i'm like sounding like daffy duck for the <laughs> this is like the blended family situation um coming together with stability long-term commitment i see judgment here so judgment to me can be a reunion guys right um but it does it is also to me more so i feel like it is a reunion card but i also think that this is like that full evaluation of yourself this is really kind of, um, and them too, um, analyzing what is it that they want? What do they need? What do they need to stop doing? What do they need to start doing? And really kind of fully judging themselves, not too harshly, right? But not too softly, like in, in terms of really being honest with what they need to change, what they need to do, what needs to happen to get to this place that you want to be. And I think you both are going through that judgment, I think um, like you are allowing yourself to, to reveal honestly to yourself, this is what I've been wanting all along. This is something I've been running from. This is something I have been trying to avoid dealing with. I think these cards together is like you really um, allowing yourself to dig deep. I feel like um, the, the uh, oh my God, you're doing your shadow work. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is the word I want to use? You're doing shadow work, guys. I feel like, um, and you're moving away from a situation. You're moving away from your old self. 
you're allowing all your secrets, insecurities, um, you're allowing your thoughts and feelings to really come to light. And you're really analyzing all of that. I feel like, and you're moving away to a much better position. Like, yes, there's cups here. There's eight cups here, but you're moving away from the situation. You are ending this thought process. You are ending your old habits. You are ending your fear and you're utilizing that strength and courage that you have with this strength card here. Um, you have clear clear direction in your mind. You know what you want. You've already decided to cut out what no longer serves you. And I like this page of wands energy here because you're still in the smaller stages, right? This isn't a knight or a king or a queen, but you are working towards building up to that. Like you have this fire coming back to you. You have this passion, this joy, this happiness. Like you're, you're getting yourself in the position from, I almost feel like from like this, right? From feeling like closed off, dark, I don't know what to do. So you know what? I'm going to go. I know what I want. I know what I need to do. I'm doing it. I'm cutting things out that don't serve me any longer. I know exactly what it is I need to do. And I'm going to go and have some fun. I'm going to go enjoy my life. I'm going to just go be me because I know that timing is working, right? Things are shifting and it's all going to go into place. And I'm going to get the happiness that I want. I'm going to get this wish fulfillment that I want. I'm going to get this happiness that I seek. So I kind of feel like, wow. <laughs> wow, guys. I like it. Um, let's get a couple messages of Love Oracle cards just to see kind of what factors might be playing a role in this situation. What pops out for the collective here? Wow. Retreat. I'm just making sure another card didn't flip. Um, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. I don't know why I always show you guys the cards because they're backwards. I guess to show you I'm not lying what it says. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Yep. So use that courage. Use that strength acceptance everything happens for a reason i think this is part of that um judgment too guys right i think that's part of that missed opportunity in the past once you accept that yes that was supposed to take place i honestly am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason even if we don't get what it is now i think we have missed opportunities for a reason do they always come back around no <laughs> should they always come back around no but i feel like this one is I feel like this one is, guys. Let's get two more cards from this deck, and then we're going to get some messages. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are now needed. So, yes, during this evaluation process, you need to set boundaries with yourself as well, person watching. Um, you need to set boundaries within yourself and what you're going to make sure you do or don't do, as well as with anybody that's coming towards you. Hold to your guns. Have your expectations set high. Don't allow nonsense to get you off track. Don't let, um, don't let those red flags go. Like see what's there and be honest with yourself. People show you who they are. Listen to them the first time, guys. Second chance. Oh my God, guys, this relationship deserves a second chance. I told you, I told you, I'm like getting mini goosebumps because I, and I just picked up this deck. These two are on the bottom and I usually just shove the cards back in. And these are not wanting to go in. So uh, like they usually do. So I'm going to just take them. And then we're going to shuffle for some more. So the Hidden Truth Oracles. I want to be more than friends. I knew exactly what I was doing. All right. Let's get a few more Hidden Truth Oracle messages from All Things Intuitive. Ooh, I like this read for you guys. I can't stop thinking about you. We will be together again. Um, you, so many things remind me of you and you and I were too young. Um, so this kind of, um, when I see this card, I don't always think of like age too young. I feel like maturity, like sometimes you could be 30 and still be too young to handle a uh, a committed relationship if you're not mature enough so take this don't take this necessarily as age but um you and i were too young so perhaps maybe in the past there was immaturity so many things remind me of you we will be together again i can't stop thinking about you i knew exactly what i was doing and i want to be more than friends 
So guys, I really feel like this is definitely a second chance that's coming around to you. Um, please, if this resonates, put some comments down below. I'd love to hear. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And then if you watch this video between now, July 25th, and the end of July, so you have about six more days um, to enter, I have a free love reading contest going on. If you go to my YouTube page, Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, you can check out um, the video that says, I think it's free love reading contest. Um, I should really look back at it and tell you exactly what it's called, but something like that. All you have to do on that video, that video, you have to like it, you have to subscribe, and you have to comment on that video. If you do those three things, it'll get you put into a free love drawing. So, um, free love redrawing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, take what resonated with this, leave the rest. I think this is a great read if you're looking to reconnect with someone you've missed out on an opportunity with in your past. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Take care and until next time. Bye-bye.